name's Eric Reutel. I work for Buffy Bot Printing. We got a giant Buffy Bot up there. I'm the artist for the Herkimer NFTs. And it's a wonderful project and a privilege to be working with all my friends. Okay. And what else? What is Bot Buffy Bot? We don't know what Buffy Bot is. I would not answer that. I don't know things. I draw pretty pictures. Okay, where did you learn to draw pretty pictures? The Herkimers okay. were actually for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, my friends, I just like to draw pretty pictures for my friends, for my D&D sessions. And one of my friends happened to know uh, Marco, who helped put all of this together. And he, so I got a random DM from somebody that I didn't know. It was Marco. And he was like, hey, show me some of these cats that I've heard about. So I, I love to share my art. So I sent him a bunch of pictures. And he's like, these are already NFT worthy. And I'm like, ah, yeah, thanks. It's flattering. Maybe someday. Uh, he's like, no, seriously, do it. So he, he's like, why don't you just come over to my house? We'll hang out for a while. So I show up. And he pushes a tablet over to me with an art program. He's like, you work for me now. Get to work. And six months later, I was able to quit my job. And here it is a year later, and I'm at my first convention. Life is good. And Marco awesome. is kind of like the man behind the curtain. He's pulling everything, and he's running this whole operation. Um, and this is his artist. And it sounds like the little that I've known, Marco, that's how the hiring process would go. So what so other pretty artwork are you going to be doing? Um, actually, if you want to come over here real quick. So we actually have a wanted poster project that we're going to be doing. When you get your NFT, it's going to randomly assign a gender and a race, like human, teethling, orc, you know, we're still working on it. It's going to give you your random selection of armor, your mouth, beard, and the idea behind this one is you can burn your NFT, but you get to choose an asset that you want to save. Like, say you really like the eyes with the dead look and the scar, but you don't like the beard. So you pick the eyes, you burn your NFT, you get your next NFT, and it's guaranteed to have those eyes. I don't know quite yet how we're doing it or how many assets you're going to be able to move over to the next one, but the idea is you'll be able to collect your perfect wanted poster. The other project I'm currently working on, this one's a little farther out, is called Rust Bots. And the idea is your first NFT when you purchase it, it's going to be a brand new factory approved robot. But over time, it's going to rust, it's going to break down, and your, your actual NFT is going to alter itself to look like the slightly beat up version. But, you know, things don't always happen in such a positive light, you know, and things kind of break down and they fall apart. And eventually your NFT is going to be a dead, rusted out robot. Might have squirrels living in the head. I mean, I already do, and look at me. Beautiful. I think that's a little bit of alpha from the actual artist, but I have to ask one question because we don't always understand some of the terms that are being used and burned. When you burn an NFT uh, or a coin, because they do burn tokens in this world, many of us may not understand that. What does burn an F NFT mean? So what's going to happen is you actually purchase your NFT, as you already know, but when you burn it, you lose your NFT. That blockchain, that NFT, it goes away and you no longer have it, nobody has it anymore. So it's a risky thing to do, but the, the rewards are you get a better NFT with more customization for what you want. So yeah, you're losing one, but the next one you get's gonna be even better. Oh, it sounds like an upgrade. Um, does that upgrade or the burning cost the consumer? And uh, if so, how much? And another question is, what do your NFTs currently cost? And what's the floor price? Okay, so that is a very good question that I don't have all the answers yet. I am the artist uh, for just the one of many projects. Unfortunately, I don't have all the technical information. I'm just another pretty face. Good answer. No financial advice here. And that was um, a very good interview for a person that has a pretty face and says he didn't know anything. He knows a lot and he explains it very well. Any last thing you want to say about your artwork or the project to our uh, watchers? This has been a humbling experience for me and I'm on cloud nine.
This is my first convention, and I'm just happy to be here. Awesome. Hey, anytime anybody's happy, that's a win in the universe. And oh, what did you do before uh, Marco hooked you in? Um, do we want to go there or we don't want to go there? All right, so I was a humble Mir gas station employee for 18 years. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. I was a petroleum distillate distribution engineer once myself uh, when I was going to school. I did it for all of about six months. I, I stopped going to Maris for a semester, kind of burnt so out. Smart, out I, 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 six months pumping gas, I got out. Yeah, I, I, I didn't actually pump the gas unless they asked me to. But honestly, always, if you have questions, always ask. At the worst, people say no. So I would always do it if they asked for it. Because What's the website? How do people find you? What's the problem? Where, where do we find you? Okay, so when I get home, I'm going to set it up. But right now, what you want to do is you want to get on Discord and you want to find BuffyBot. If you're interested in my Herkimer projects, there's a sub tab for Herkimer. Just go in there and say, hi, Eric. I'll eventually see it. I'll get back to you and we can chat. I also love giving bad advice, only bad advice. I think you just got some really good advice. Buffy Bot on Discord, and uh, you can chat directly with the artist and uh, perhaps score some of his Herkimer projects. And I'm from upstate New York, so there's a, a region where they mine Herkimer diamonds. I don't know if you're aware of that or if you've ever seen a Herkimer diamond, but how does your Herkimer project tie in? So. The Herkimer cats that I do is actually when I was six or seven years old, I had a free cat that I told my mom, hey, can we have this? It's a free cat. And my mom's like, there's no such thing as free. And I'm like, of course it is. It's a free cat. So she agreed, so long as I agreed to pay for everything. She went ahead and she bought a leash, a litter box, a litter. We took it in and got shots, tags, collars, everything. And then she told me that I had to pay her back through my allowance, and that was my first learning experience of there's no such thing as free. I have no idea how I came up with the name Herkimer when I was a child, but years and years later, when I decided to make it for Dungeons and Dragons, I remembered I had that cat, and I figured it's probably dead by now, but, you know, I brought it back as an undead animal, so here we are. Oh. I, I don't think I've heard such a, a, a Genesis story like this before from a guy humbly claiming to be a gas station and, and, and he's really an artist and he's, he's, he's got a dead cat that he's resurrecting. It's phenomenal. I want to thank you very much on behalf of Cardano for Seniors. Any last words? Uh, if I say they're my last words, then they're my last words, right? That's dangerous. No, no, no. I have plenty of words, but I think we're done here. And you all have a wonderful day.